this improv story's based leg and then like a donut which is a kind of O shape and there's land on earth it's, um, and because it's Halloween we're going to make us a fucking scary one so if you don't want anything too scary leave things are about to get very scary let the story commence Craig wanted to go to Legoland he had just started getting into Legoland for mental uh, no Legoland uh, Lego for mental health reasons he was looking for a hobby looking to, for something to get into and somebody said do you know what I actually found quite relaxing jigsaws he went uh, I think uh, jigsaws are kind of frustrating for me I just feel like I like that sort of thing you know kind of putting something together just sort of doing that you know like, like Lego or something in fact that'd be an idea Lego I Lego Lego could be good I don't really know what you make you can get ones it's already you know it says you get a, the box and it says like you build this and 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 he got and he did some Star Wars stuff. He's not even really into Star Wars, but he thought, fuck it. Got that and built some other things and then just got some just standard sort of Lego, you know, various things. He just enjoyed building like wee hussies. He got right into it and it really fucking helped him. It really helped him. And he thought, I'm going to go to Legoland. Because he mentioned it in work and some people go like, next you'll be going to Legoland. Next you'll be going to Legoland. And he said, Legoland, what is that? Is that real? No, it's made up. No, I mean... Is it, I mean, is it a permanent... But I think you're on a fucking permanent, you're on a permanent trip. Is it a permanent... I thought it was just a thing that maybe happened one year. What the fuck are you on about? No one of your mental... I thought, I just thought I heard something in the news about Legoland. I thought it was a, just a, something that came and it went. You know you know what I mean? I didn't know it was a permanent. It's a permanent place you could always go to at any time. At any time. I thought it was just a kind of pop-up in a, an already existing theme park. If you know what I mean. I don't know what you fucking mean. <laughs> Fuck, I can't fucking mean it, wouldn't I? I can hear you saying that, by the way. I know you can. I know you can. Starting to you like that, you don't know what's fucking getting said or no, you don't know what's real or no. Cutting Safi's fucking nut. And, he's, and he, he looked up Legoland. And there it was. He looked up on a website. Legoland. Um, there you go, opening soon. Legoland Windsor. Yeah, yeah. And he looked at it and he went, oh, that looks, oh. I thought, I oh, can't fucking go. It's for, it's for the Wains and I haven't got a, any Wains. You know, if I go myself, I'll look like a fucking weirdo. Uh Fucking hell, I can't go to that. That cunt's, that cunt's by himself, mind you, but, but you know, you'd be like, ah, oh, see fucking down here. See down here. Ah, oh, fuck. And he, and he thought, I want to go to that. How do I go? I mean, I've not got any wins. I can't. Even, I've got to make a joke yet somehow. I've got to kind of like get a T-shirt that says, "Oh, world's oldest Lego fan" or something. You know, just to kind of make it, you know, like obvious. I know it's a bit weird me being here by myself. Um, Craig, it wasn't even uh, Craig was thirty nine, right? But he felt quite old to be at something like that I just thought I 
no, I'm not going to, I'm going to go. I'm not going to go. And he spoke to his pal and his pal went, uh, don't be daft. There's people who have been like using, like playing with Lego since, I mean, you, did you have Lego when you were wee? Aye. Right. There's people who are right. There's people who are into like fucking train spotting and, um, you know, watching planes taking off and landing and people get into things. People like things. People like jigsaws and, you know, I know, but they're all fucking weirdos and all that. No, they're no. They're no. Would you think they should be into a football, into fucking Celtic and Rangers and, and that's it? Into fucking Chelsea or what the fuck cunts are into Man United? Do you want to be one of them? I think that's a false equivalent, said Craig. And the pal went like that. False, what the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? You know what? Do, do what you want. Do what you want, Craig. And then fucking pal fell up with Craig. Yeah, after after everything I've done to help you. And Craig was like, oh, right, so I'm not allowed to say anything back to you while I'm in this, this uh, mentally... Ill. So don't you fucking dare. Don't you dare. And Craig, well, well they, they wonder what I say one wee thing out of fucking power like that. You know what? I can't do this. I can't do this no more. And Craig went like that. I can't do this no more. Why are you talking like an American? I can't do this no more, Johnny. He did that. And the pal went, and he, and he laughed, you know, he kind of go like that. Oh, I'm just having a bit of a laugh, but the pal was like, fuck off. Anyway, Craig thought to himself, how do I go there? I want to go to this, but I just can't. I know. I know. I'm going to break in. I'm going to go there at night and sneak in and walk about at night. I mean, there can't be a lot of people, there can't be a lot of security. It's not like it's, it's not like it's gold, Lego bricks. You thought, I'm going to do that. Um, what if I get caught? Don't get caught. Aye. And he went down there, booked a hotel. I went down and went along during the daytime. Because he just thought, maybe I can get in during the day. Maybe it'll be all right. I'll just look about. I bet there's lots of kind of like groups of adults and they're all sort of, you know, look. No, it's family, 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 family. He's like, I can't go in there. He's, he's ready to do it. He just thought, as he was about to sort of maybe join the queue, he just saw this this one da for a family going like that. He just thought, I fucking look like, you know, what am I doing there? Um, so he hung about for a wee few more minutes. Then he went to look like he was taken off after getting fucking spotted. Hung about for about another few minutes. Looked at his phone as if he's waiting for somebody. Went like that a few times. went away he came back that night was it midnight midnight you know what day it was you know what day it was it was the 31st of October now, to a lot of you folk who are on the face Scotland or Ireland, you'll be like, all right, thanks for saying the date. Was that? 31st of October. Oh, right. Thanks for dropping in. But what you don't know, here in Scotland and across Southern Ireland, we have this old Celtic, Tradition. 
that goes back hundreds of years. It is a Scottish word for it. Scottish word for it. Halloween. Halloween. It is a time where the barrier between the living and the dead is just a wee bit thinner. Just a wee bit thinner than usual. The veil. The veil. But Craig had forgot that. And no doubt me saying this will spread out to America and all the rest of it, but... Who's thin as long as you said? I was waiting, I was actually like, thin. I said the word thin when somebody's going to say that. Craig didn't know. And he went in, he broke in. There's a, there's a kind of, the kind of slope, sort of grassy sort of slope comes down at the, the back, sort of at the side got through this fence and they fucking secure it's fucking all oh, why break in and it's like it's fucking Glastonbury there's a fucking wee hole there we'll, we'll all get in and we'll sneak in and um, all that security and it's kind of a wee bit out the way as well it wasn't the next day like hussies uh, that many hussies so wasn't that disturbed he got in and he was walking about and he was like oh this is amazing how did he do that it was all, there was like scary things and all that, like cobwebs and all that. Like, oh, what's this? I remembered it was Halloween. This was at midnight. The witching hour. And then he saw uh, like a projection. It was like a projection. It was like a guy walked up to him. Um... He was like, oh fuck, oh fuck, he's ready, you know, he ducked, he ducked and then he looked up and he could see it was like a projection, you know, like a kind of scary sort of thing. Um, and he's like, oh fuck, that's, that's right, it's the day of Halloween. And he looked up and he could see, he went like that, there was a 3D quality to the projection walking towards him. He's like, wait a minute, how did they do that? He could see around it, he thought, it can't be, it looked like a hologram. He thought, how are they doing that? Is it kind of like an uh, like one of the things you get at airports? It's like the outline of a person and then they project something on it. And he's like, no, because I can see that it could be a semi-transparent material projected onto that. But as he went like that, he could see around it. This guy walked towards him. And here's the thing, the guy was naked. Guy walked towards him and he's like, that, they wouldn't show that in here. They wouldn't show that in here. And he, he went like that. He, he, you know, he could just sort of tell that by doing that, he could sort of see slightly into the guy's face that side and slightly into the guy's face that side. He's like, this is, wait a minute, this is real. And then what happened is Craig stood up to run like fuck because he realised something's not right here. And the guy stopped and Craig stopped. And then the guy went like that, look. Bit his fingernail so that a bit was sticking out, you know, so he can slash somebody. But he went like that, slashed right across his own gut. A scratch. But then, the scratch got wider and wider. It turned into a big fucking slash, big fucking that. And his whole body for the waist up started to go <sighs> it fell down at the at the back it opened up it opened up like uh, <sighs> opened up like um like you know the sort of golden balls and
Ist okay. Aha, aha, aha. Mm. Family stuff. Back to the story. So this, uh, so the guy opened up, the naked guy opened up after slashing himself across the belly with a fingernail. Opened up like golden balls game. My right ear enjoyed this. Right, so look how this opens up. See that? Kind of like that. Kind of opened up like that. Opened up and went back the way. So, at the waist. But the spine was still connected. Opened up like that. And then inside, this fart sound came out. Because that's what happened. That's where farts come for your guts, your insides. And the smell was fucking horrendous. And Craig ran up and he's ready to do something. He went, we need to come out of Legoland. We shouldn't do this. And I don't know if you're a spectre, if you're a, a ghost or whatever, but we need to get out of Legoland because this is inappropriate. <coughs> That's it. There's no Wayne's here just now, but it's just Legoland. It, is, it just doesn't feel right. So they went to uh, Soho in London. And uh, Craig um, put it in every wee, every tube he could find in there. Every tube inside or the, you know, the guts. You put it in every one of them. The aorta. Uh, there's a bit of the lungs. Small intestine. Large intestine. But his favourite one was the heart. The left ventricle. He put it in And then he dropped dead a heart attack on a stroke of midnight. Right on a stroke of midnight. And that's a true story. The end. That's a true story. And do you know how I know that's a true story? See, Craig? He's behind you! Glad you've enjoyed that. 10 out of 10, everybody. Thank you very much. Zero out of 10, says somebody. You, you might want to get your uh, your number one on your keyboard checked there. It's, it's sometimes no working. Sometimes one out of 10. I think you need to get your zero checked. Maybe you could swap. <laughs> 